Well, hey, this is just a quick uh, guide on how to set up uh, a trading station. Here I've got one, it's called Plus 500, and I'm going to go through a few demo accounts, show you what they look like. And these are all linked to the trading charts, as I've discussed before. So this one here, Plus 500, I've just opened a demo account, and um, takes just a few seconds. And you can see that's the trading screen. I don't like it very much. I think it's a bit clunky, not very attractive, and uh, not something I want to use, so I'm going to move on from here and go to the next one. I'm just going through a few of them that I haven't used before. Here's one called Easy Markets, and once again, um, if you click on the, the demo account button, just there, that's the one. Again, you just put in your details, name, choose a password, etc., etc., and... Uh, It'll take you straight into the trading station. So this is Easy Markets. Don't like this one very much either. So um, just don't like the layout and the look and the feel. So I'm going to abandon this one. Here's another one called AVA Trade or Avatrade. Once again, demo account takes a few seconds. You can use any of these. I haven't used them before, but I just thought I'd show you my fiddling around. You can go into a demo account platform straight away. Save your password and um, takes a few seconds and you'll be taken to the trading station. Don't like this one either. Don't like the layout, don't like the buttons. Uh, it's very important that you feel aesthetically pleased by what you're dealing with. And uh, here we're back to the trading charts and um, these are all the brokers you can connect with. Now I'm going to go to the OANDA account which I recommend and you can connect it straight to the, to the charts. Um, and you can actually trade off the charts as well. So this is my long-standing Oranda account. And uh, once again, you can just log in there where it says demo account and it'll take you into this window. You can see it's populated with a chart with some uh, prices on the, on the left. And basically you'll open trades and balance and all that sort of thing next to it. So uh, you can get rid of the charts, by the way. You don't need to see them on the screen if you're using the other charts like I am. And um, you can also download a desktop version of this. Um, because I'm using Apple, the desktop versions of various things don't often work very well or they require um, additional uh, software to be installed on your Mac, which I don't like. But the desktop version of Oranda works very well. Now you can see here on the left, I'm going to just enter a trade. What's very, very nice about Oanda, you can see I've got the Aussie dollar buying that against US dollar. You can put in one Aussie dollar. Literally, you can trade that small, which is 0.73 US dollars, which is literally nothing. Uh, so I put one unit in there and uh, 73 cents US. And I can just enter a trade buying the Aussie dollar and it'll enter straight into the trade window. There it is there and uh, you're into that trade. So it's super simple. You can trade very small amounts um, from $1 up to hundreds of thousands. Uh, the same goes for the, for the live account as well. Um, you can do the same thing there. Like I said, you can rearrange this and get rid of the chart. It's pre-populated, as I said, with prices on the left. There's the Euro, the Aussie dollar, and the British pound, the, the currencies that I mainly trade on the left. And um, that's it really. Now, um, I've used Oranda for a very long time, probably almost two decades. So um, I'm very happy with them in, in general. Uh, they're very safe and very good. Here's the reporting part of it. This is why I've actually changed from Forex.com. Just showing you on this demo account, but my li I've got a live account with Oranda already. I uh, had, had one for a very long time. So th here's the report transaction history you can select the date range and various other fields that you want to show you can you can add or remove the fields and if you go along to the right you can see the account balance as it changes all those transactions in there are just um, rollover interest so there haven't been any trades the Aussie dollar trade that we've just put on doesn't show yet because we still got it open I think if we close it. No, there it is. And uh, now if I want to close that trade, I just click on the 
um, reduce or close trade button. There it is. Um, units to close the one. I just press on submit and the trade is closed and it should disappear from the screen. So there we go. That's Oanda. So I highly recommend that. It's as simple as chips to um, to open a demo account or a live account and then add it to your um, to your charts. So uh, just thought I might throw that video in there. You might find it useful. So I would go with that. Um, Oanda trading account, which is free for the demo account, and the trading charts are free as well. And set it all up just to get started. And if you want to, you can start to add some real money and also um, get the, the more advanced or the upgrade uh, on the free charts. So that's it. Enjoy your trading today. I'll give a trade update a little bit later on.